A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim We are doing this uh, series of Islamic ethical code or um, the ethics as we know it and the Holy Quran the Holy Prophet the Ahlul Bayt alayhi wasalam have emphasized greatly that we must abide by the Islamic ethics there are extremely a large list of uh, ethical code and etiquettes that we must abide by those can be from social issues from personal from our relationship to god and our relationship to the authorities like the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the halbayt alaihi wasallam and the scholars our parents and all sorts one of the major social issues is is gossip and it is something which is forbidden in islam and we must avoid it at all times it can go on in any circle in the people who are older people who are younger people who are professionals people who are educated people who are uneducated in all sorts of groups we have this illness of gossip many times gossip can be just uh, relating the bad habits and the bad deeds of people and we report them to others and we enjoy uh, the gossip in the sense that it can be a, um, a an act of someone that we dislike and we relate it to the others so that we can um, uh, defame them we can um, sometimes use it against them and we cause a fight or a friction between them and others uh, in any case it is discouraged and forbidden um and uh, so a person who is doing this act is regarded as uh, a person who is a sinner and it is many times not slander but it is usually uh, in terms of backbiting people who are using things that others are doing which are true about them but they're spreading it to defame them and to cause a bad name to their family and uh, to the individual who is performing it in any case at schools uh, at uh, workplaces and at other places we we use this uh, meanful act which is gossip it can be in forms of uh, a person's uh, attitude a person's actions a person's appearance uh, any of those things we must not relate to others in a way that way we uh, uh, destroy the respect destroy the reputation and we uh, mention the things in a way to um, cause friction between individuals and people now uh, gossip many times is used to say oh did you know that so and so is saying this about you or did you know that they are doing this and what it does is that it starts off um, a whole uh a discussion a negative discussion uh, amongst people about uh, an individual or a group and many times it leads to further divisions and frictions in any way the ahlul bayt alayhi wasalam say it is uh, highly discouraged uh, forbidden in many cases but if it is something that uh, the person is evilly doing in the society it may be allowed to mention what they're doing but only and only to an extent where uh, it causes um uh, damage to the people who you are uh, referring to or the the people you are informing so how do we deal with it well number one uh, we should not be listening to it one of the signs of the end of times ahlul bayt alayhi wasallam have mentioned that gossip will be the greatest enjoyment uh, in the meetings and gatherings so whenever people get together they will want to uh, to use gossip and they will uh, uh, want to ask what is uh, what is new and whenever many times people say what is new they they mean what is the new gossip and what is new should be what is what have you learned something new what have you um uh, uh, developed in your personality as that is new what is new in technology so positive things rather than saying what is new meaning what is a new gossip uh, we should not uh, be encouraging people to tell us what is new in terms of gossip uh, and that is a very evil habit 
Now, this is a habit that many people say that it is women who have it more, but I have seen that no, a lot of men unfortunately also have it. So it is not something associated with, with women. It is associated with all groups. And sometimes people think that it is people who are uh, uneducated, they have it. No, I've seen people who are educated, even they uh, unfortunately sometimes have this bad habit of uh, gossip. So we have to uh, avoid it. Now, many times people on the Day of Judgment will be brought with two tongues. Two tongues, people who lie, who fabricate things and who also gossip, people who gossip. And they will be brought with two tongues. So it is a extremely bad habit. And uh, if people describe the people who, uh, who gossip, they usually say, oh, the one with so-and-so action. So it is the person who spreads it also has bad reputation in the society. It is not only the one giving the bad reputation to everyone, they themselves have bad reputation. I recently heard in a, uh, in a gathering, a person was asking about another person. He said, oh, Mr. Controversial. I said, why did you say that? He said, uh, oh, well, he's always talking about controversies and uh, spreading rumors and spreading bad information. So this is something which is regarded as uh, namami or uh, gossip. So you should avoid it because it also gives you a bad reputation and uh, it will come to haunt you. Uh, I have seen many people who had these bad habits that they actually see the effects of it in their lives. When they are young they may not be able to feel that they are uh, being affected but as you get older you will see the consequences within your own lives. What are the consequences that you may be able to face? Sometimes we have sins that only have consequences in this world. Some sins uh, are only punishable in the hereafter, but certain sins have punishment in both worlds, in this world and the hereafter. And one of those sins is gossip. It has punishment in both worlds, in this world and the hereafter. And the Holy Quran says, Inna ladina yuhabbuna an tashi' al fahishat fil ladina amanu lahum adabun alimun fid dunya wal akhirah. So the people who like to gossip and spread bad um, uh, uh, accusations about the ones who believe, they have punishment, they have severe punishment both in this world and the hereafter. So many sins only have punishment in the hereafter, but many sins have punishment in both worlds. So people who gossip will be punished in both worlds. What could be the punishment in this world, the hereafter, we will only find out once we die. Uh, so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us because we, uh, if we are not forgiven then we will be held responsible in the hereafter. So what are the sins, uh, punishment, what are the punishments of some of these sins in this world? One of the punishments according to some of the traditions, uh, there is a book called Al-Amali, uh, dictations or uh, reports compiled by uh, Sheikh Tusi and uh, in his book, he mentions that Imam Musa al-Kazim alayhi salam, he said, Man ayyara mu'minan bima'siyatin lam yamut hatta yartakibahu. A mu'min who relates a, uh, an accusation or a, uh, an evil trait to a believer does not die until they commit that sin themselves. That's severe punishment. You many times think that I'm only mentioning it about another believer and I relate that they committed so-and-so sin. But the Masum al-Islam says that you will commit it yourself if you falsely accuse them or it was true and no one knew and you went and spread it and you wanted a gossip and you wanted to enjoy it, then you will indulge into that uh, forbidden act or that evil act that you were spreading about others yourself. You will indulge in it yourself. How do we refrain? It is said that you should uh, uh, try and sit in the company of scholars. Jalisil uh, ulama. If you sit in the company of scholars, practicing scholars, then you will avoid certain things. So people who are learned, people who have knowledge, there are many people who are learned in the society. Even if they are not scholars, if they are not practicing priests, but they are scholarly people, they are learned people, then you should enjoy in their company, people who are practicing. And when you sit in their company, especially many of the elders, your own grandparents, they have a lot of experience. So young people should try and enjoy the company of their uh, grandparents and their uncles and aunts who have 
seen a lot more in this world than, than you have. And that will uh, change your life for better and also improve your life in the sense that they will advise you on good things. So Imam Ali Salam has advised that you should always uh, uh, join the company of learned people and you should always take advice from wise people. Uh, that is something that you say, advise me, admonish me or uh, say something that I should reflect upon and that will change your life. One of the other ways of controlling your uh, bad habits of gossip and other evil deeds is to avoid the company of the people who always uh, pull you into gossiping and um, saying evil things and backbiting. Another, uh, um, so a refrain from the company of the people who, who perform those. If you avoid the company, uh, many times you feel isolated. That I have no one to go to now because all of the young people that I was sitting with, they, they were gossiping and they had bad habits and I was picking up those bad habits, so I have no one. The Holy Quran says uh, that uh, uh, the ones who believe and they avoid the company of evil people, tell them, do not feel isolated. The Holy Quran says that the angels come down onto you. You do not see them. You do not feel them. But they are around you because you are a believer. Do not feel isolated. Do not feel that you have no one. You have all of those angels that are surrounding you, that are helping you. Now, one other piece of advice that will help you is that uh, read Quran, even if you only read a page or half a page or just a few lines, but read Quran on a regular basis, especially Surah Hashr. And uh, there is an ayat in Surah Hashr that says, uh, you know, Wala Rabbana, Wala Oh Allah, take away the evil feelings from our heart about the people who believe. So if you are gossiping, then you should, even if you do not read the whole surah, just read this one verse and repeat it in your qunut. And it will help you to avoid that sin. You will not uh, mention bad things about uh, the other believing people. Thank you very much for listening to our advice. And we hope and pray that we can all refrain from evil habits, especially gossip. Gossip is something that gives you a bad name. You may be thinking you're giving others a bad name, but it causes you more of a bad reputation and name than the ones you're talking about. Thank you very much for listening. We'll see you at another time with another episode on another topic. Fiamanillah.